Hi, I'm Curtis from Acceleration Kart Racing. And today I wanted to talk about length of hubs just a little bit. This is a longer 50 millimeter rear hub. And one of the reasons you change the length of your hubs, probably the most important reason, is to stiffen the rear axle. Because the hub covers more of the rear axle, the flex point changes. So if you've got a medium hub like this and a long hub, this flex point is going to be right here. This one's right here. It's further in, so it stiffens up that much of the axle. And it makes a big difference. You might look at it and think it's only, you know, half an inch or whatever, but it does make a pretty big difference. Uh, you can feel it on the track. And the reason you adjust the stiffness of the rear axle is to tune for the grip. The more uh, traction you have, or, or the more grip is on the track, typically the shorter you'd want to try to run your hub, the softer you'd want to go on your axle. And it's an easy way to find out if you might need a different axle. You go to a softer hub, if that's faster, maybe you need even more. Go to a shorter hub. You can only go so short, then you go to a softer axle. Um, there are also different lengths of front hubs. And on the front hub, you go to a longer one to give you uh, more caster. When you turn the front end, it actually jacks the cart pushes one wheel down, one wheel up. The wider your front end is, the more exaggerated that is. And long front hubs are commonly referred to as rain hubs because in the rain, you go just about as stiff as you can or as wide as you can on the front to get that rear end jacked. It's hard to uh, get the inside rear wheel to lift in a really slippery condition. So you go to a wider front end, a wider hub helps you do that. Another thing you can look at in hubs is the some of them have a centering ring built into the hub some don't without a centering ring you can actually push the hub in past the end of the axle and then you're using the axle as your centering hub um, the carts that go really narrow are, are typically like uh, low horsepower or low grip stuff like kid carts cadet carts maybe an l206 on some tracks um, this is a 30 millimeter hub that's really short. The advantage to this is it's really light. And because it's so small, you can get uh, a lot of flex. You like to do that sometimes with the cadet carts. This is a 30 millimeter that works good on kid carts and cadet carts. Has a nice set screw to keep it in place. When you go this narrow, it's hard to keep the hub from sliding in or out. So you want a set screw. And uh, a lot of hubs do come with set screws now. And if they don't, you can even drill them and put it in if you have to. Um, magnesium is another material we use. This one's a loop. The one on my left hand is aluminum. The one on my right hand is magnesium. The magnesium actually have more tendency to slide in or out on the axle. So uh, you want to make sure you have set screws on your mag hubs or use um, the Cartmaster uh spacers that you can slide on the inside of the hub you do that your hub can't slide past the end of that spacer and we sell those but uh, there's a real quick overview on some length of hubs if you have more questions give us a call at acceleration cart racing and i'm curtis cooksey thanks for tuning in